Time for some hot topic buzz. President Biden telling former President Obama that he does plan to run again in 2024. A source telling The Hill, quote, I believe he thinks he's the only one who can beat Trump. I don't think he thinks there's anyone in the Democrat Party who can beat Trump, and that's the biggest factor. Joe, um, I would do a massive spit take on live TV, but I'm a lady. I'm just kidding. <laughs> And a beautiful one at that, no, Megan. And, and great job hosting so far. <laughs> but what say I know, you? Compliments will get me anyway, everyone. What say you on this? It's astonishing. Yeah, it is. Uh, look, there, there was a CNN poll that came out recently. It said the majority of Democrat, Democrat leading voters, Dagan, say they would rather see the party nominate a different candidate other than the current president and Joe Biden. His own party doesn't want him to run. The problem is the bench is either Kamala Harris, Pete Buttigieg, Elizabeth Warren, or Amy Klobuchar, or perhaps Gavin Newsom. And when those are the alternatives, maybe that's why the president is now saying, well, you know what? It's not going to get any better if anybody else runs. I might as well. The problem is if Joe Biden wins, he'll be in his mid-80s in his second term. And we already see what 79-year-old Joe Biden looks and sounds like. And it's uh, something that's uh, becoming more and more uncomfortable to watch for the American people. Now, uh, trying to shake hands with Harvey, his imaginary rabbit friend. Leo? Yeah. Well, I, I think Joe Biden has to say he's running. He's sitting in the 30s on the polling numbers. And if you add the term lame duck to those kind of numbers, you are um, as ineffective as he's going to be in terms of pushing an agenda, he, it would just destroy his ability to do anything. So I don't think he has a choice. I don't think he can run, um, but he has to say he's going right. to.